In this video, we're going over more hidden features of the Samsung Galaxy A10e. Hey there, thank you for watching. If this is your first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that like button if you do find the video helpful. Let's go ahead and jump right in. We got a really great response from our first hidden feature video and so we thought we'd follow it up and give you five more really awesome hidden features for you to uh, enjoy on the new Samsung Galaxy A10e. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first hidden feature is gonna be a cool feature that will allow you to basically keep your screen on as long as you're looking at the screen. To turn this on, we're gonna go to the settings and we're gonna go to advanced features, motions and gestures, and we're gonna enable smart stay. Now, the description is really simple. Keep the screen on while you're looking at it. So we turn this on, and now, let's say you're reading an article or you're reading something on Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, as long as you are looking at the screen, there's a sensor on the screen that's actually picking up on the fact that you're looking at the screen and therefore it won't disable the screen. So the screen won't go dim and go off. It'll stay on without you having to touch the screen. So it's a really great feature for those of you that like to read on your phone, maybe articles or Kindle books or whatever. And you don't want to feel like you have to touch the screen every couple of seconds. This will keep the screen on as long as you are looking at it. So that is a cool one there. Now our next uh, feature is going to be something you guys are going to also enjoy. It's going to allow you to send text messages from your phone on your computer. So um, if you have a PC, or actually PC or Mac, it'll work on both, you'll be able to text people from your phone. Now to do this, the first step is to download an app called Messages. So you'll go to the Google Play Store and you'll just type in Messages. I already have it in the search here. And you're gonna look for, this is the Google messaging app called Messages. Tap on that. Tap install. Should install pretty quick. And I'll walk you through the basic setup. We'll go home. In a few seconds, we'll see that messages app pop up on the screen. And basically what it's gonna allow us to do is we're, we're going to be able to, again, send text messages from a computer or even from a tablet, that's the cool part, is you'll be able to text from any one of those two mediums, not just the phone. So I'm gonna take this app and I'm gonna hold down it with my finger and I wanna drag it to the home screen and just put it right here. Once you open it, it is gonna ask you a couple of things to set up. You're gonna to wanna to make this your default messaging app. So you're not, you're not going to use the Samsung Messages app anymore. Now you're gonna use the Google Messages app. So set this as your default, press yes. So what it will do is it will pull all the text messages that are currently in your Samsung Messages app and it will move them uh, over to the Google Messages app. So they've all already popped up on here. So that's perfect. So let's say I send a message to this person right here. I just say, yo. So there's gonna be a pop-up that will ask you, text on your computer, try it. You're gonna hit try it. And at this point, you're gonna hit QR code scanner. And on your computer or tablet, you're just gonna to go to this website, messages.google.com slash web, and you're gonna see a barcode that's gonna pop up. Now, a couple of things that are important about this, you wanna make sure that you are signed in to the same Google account on your phone uh, on the computer. So it, it, you have to be signed to the same Gmail account or you won't see the right pop-up when you go to this website. So just important note, once this screen comes up, go to your computer, go to gmail.com, sign into your Gmail, and then after you're signed into Gmail, you're gonna go to this website. You'll see a QR code and you're gonna scan it and that's gonna link your phone 
um, to that computer and will allow you to then send direct text messages um, from your phone still, but you're gonna be typing on your computer and you can send and receive right from there. It's a super convenient feature. I use this for work all the time and it just makes life so much easier. So that's in a nutshell how to set up that feature and you'll be able to then text from again, computer or tablet and you'll have all kind of fun sending messages so much faster using that full size keyboard versus the keyboard on the phone. All right, we're gonna go ahead and keep it moving, jump into our next feature, which is going to be how to recover a deleted picture from your gallery. So we're gonna go to the gallery app, which is right here. We have all these great pictures. Now let's say you delete a picture by accident. Hold down on this. We're gonna just go ahead and hit delete, move to trash can. Oh no, I didn't mean to delete that picture. I really need that picture. Well, now, uh, thanks to Samsung, they have added a new layer of protection whenever a picture is deleted. So it's never automatically totally erased. It now has moved to a trash can that you can then go and recover the pictures from really easy um, within, I believe, 30 days. I think it's either two weeks or 30 days. So you're gonna go to the upper right corner, tap on the menu, and you're gonna go down to trash. And right here, so it's actually 15 days. Items in the trash will be permanently deleted after 15 days. Before moving your SD card, empty the trash to make sure everything in there is completely deleted. So these pictures that just erased, they are here sitting in the trash can and they're very easily recovered. All you're gonna do is just tap on the picture. You're gonna hit this little icon right here and this will move the picture back to the original spot it was in in your gallery. So that is the easy way to recover a deleted picture on the Samsung Galaxy A10e. All right, our next hidden feature is gonna be a really quick tweak you can make to bring up your notification panel uh, with just a swipe on the home screen. So the first thing we're gonna do is hold down on the home screen, go to home screen settings, and we're gonna enable quick open navigation panel. And after that's enabled, it's super easy. As long as you're on the home screen, you can just swipe down and it will automatically pull down your notification panel for you. So on any one of these home screens, you can just swipe down. You don't have to swipe all the way from the top. You can just swipe down from here. And this really makes it a lot easier when you're holding the phone with one hand. You don't have to reach all the way up to do that. So there is that feature. And I hope you guys like that because it's very convenient, especially when you have a phone that's this long. And our last hidden feature it's going to be uh, a convenient feature for different people. Uh, I think in general, it's going to be a good thing for you all to know how to do, but uh, everyone will use it a little bit differently. And it's a feature called interaction control, which will allow you to disable a portion of your screen or the entire screen, depending on what you're trying to do. So let me show you how to set this up. Go to your settings. From here, we're going to go to accessibility and then interaction and dexterity. And then you're gonna make sure you turn on interaction control, okay? Now, the way this feature works, you do have to hold down on the volume up button and power at the same time to enable it. So, let me give you a good example of when you may wanna use this. Let's say you wanted to give your phone to someone to read a text message, but you didn't want them to swipe through the message you only want them to read that one part of the message. This is a really cool time you'd want to use this feature. So I'm going to open up text messages and let's just say this is the text message that you didn't want anyone to swipe through to look any further, right? So once the screen is open to what I want to be on there, I'm going to hold volume up and power for two seconds. going to take us to our section here. Now I can block the entire screen. So just check the box for a whole screen or I can say, Hey, you know what? I just want to disable this bottom section here. In this case though, uh, you'd want to disable the whole screen, but let's just say I wanted to just disable the bottom. 
So you can draw these little boxes and have it disable certain sections. So maybe you say, oh, I only want the bottom disabled or I want the whole screen. The easiest way is just to click the button block whole screen and now they can't click away from anything. Hit done. And now you're locked into this section. At this point, you can give your phone to that person, allow them to read whatever it is you want them to read and see, and they can't swipe, they can't go home, they can't go back, they can't even click out of the message, they can't call the person. They are totally locked in this section until you get the phone back. They're like, oh, there's something wrong with your phone. You'll say, no, it's not. I just only wanted you to see that. Thanks, bye. So once you get your phone back, all you gotta do is hold that volume up and power again. And it will disable the feature and now you can go back to using the phone like normal. So this is a great feature that will just allow you to disable all or your whole screen when it's convenient for you. Um, the only app I've had an issue with this is the YouTube app. Um, I've tried to disable the whole screen and then play the video, but the video stops playing as soon as you disable the screen. So just as a, a heads up, that's kind of a bummer where you wouldn't be able to use that feature, but it will work with every other app on the phone pretty nicely. So anyway, there's that. This has been our hidden features part two. We wanted to bring you guys more since you love the first video. So do us a favor, leave us a comment down below and let us know which one you like the best in terms of the new features. Uh, or hidden features. Also, uh, hit the like button if you found the video helpful and keep watching. We appreciate your time and uh, your views. So, thanks again. Have a good one.